Hello, I have waited quite a few years actually to do this because uh, I've been waiting for my shelves to be installed. And my work made them for me a few years ago and it wasn't until uh, just this past weekend that my dad was able to come and install them. So uh, I'm really excited. Thank you, dad, for installing my shelves. I am super excited to show you my mug collection and that's what the shelves here, that's their purpose, is to display the mugs. So I have spent many, many, many years collecting mugs from the thrift store, from the, the regular stores when I find them for a good price and a few of them have been gifted to me. So I'm working my way to like curate a good collection that I really want displayed here. So you'll see a bit of a theme for most of them, but why don't I go through mugs that I have been gifted to me first. So this is a bookish mug. It's got a book print on both sides and this was gifted to me by my mom. I've got this Wonder Woman mug that was gifted to me from my sister. Some of these I won't remember exactly because I have a couple of friends who have gifted me mugs from the past few years a couple of times so I can't really remember who gave what. But um, I've got this uh, blue, it's kind of like that classic china print, china print? Is that what it's called? I don't know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Mug. I've got this beautiful camera tin mug. It's actually tin, it's not fake tin. Um, and it's just got a bunch of vintage cameras all the way around because I also am a photographer on the side. So she definitely knew that I would like this mug. Then I remember Chantel gave me this one. Uh, this one is a temperature changing mug. So it's got a sloth on here, it says wake me up when winter is over. And you put your hot liquid in here and then all of this um, comes to life in color. And then as it cools off or as maybe you drank it and there's no more liquid or whatever, um, then it goes back to this grayscale looking image. And that's on both sides as well. I've got this cute vintage bike uh, mug that says blessed on it. The color scheme is really cute. I've got this pink get cozy mug. It's got a girl on a couch with a blanket, some books, and a cup of beverage. <laughs> and I believe that is all I've gotten for gifted mugs. So there's my first collection. Okay, let's do some travel-y type mugs. So this one says extreme adventure, life is better in the mountains. Uh, it's only on one side, but there's that one. I picked up this mug at the thrift store. It says Aruba on there, it looks cool. We've never been to Aruba. I said when I picked this mug up that this is the closest we'll ever come to being at Aruba or getting to visit Aruba, whatever. Um, but I do like the way like even just the blank side looks. So yeah, it's kind of a, a quirky one, I guess. Uh, we've got this Great White North Canada mug. It's one of those like clay looking ones, I guess. This one I believe we got while actually being in the mountains. I can't remember exactly where we were when I got this one, but um, so this one is from the Canadian Rockies somewhere. This one I got while in the United States. I can't remember which state we were in, but we went to Cracker Barrel, which I love Cracker Barrel. I've only been there like twice, but I love Cracker Barrel. Um, and I bought this mug there. It's just like sea, sea creatures, sea theme, and I love this mug. Then we can shift into more like animal themes. Here we have this one. I wonder if this one was also picked up in the Canadian Rockies, I feel like. But we've got bears and bear paws all the way around, and I like that. Then we have a moose on this guy, and I love this mug as well. Then we've got this cup. It's a vintage cup, or a mug, I should say. It's, it's like more of a dated look, but I really love these fish. Um, they're definitely lake fish, and which is super fitting because um, in the Canadian prairies, we're very much known for our lakes and people around here love to fish. 
I don't necessarily love fishing itself. I like sitting on the boat with when other people are fishing, but I don't actually do much of the fishing. I can cast pretty decently, um, but I don't know if I've ever actually caught anything. <laughs> so I really like this mug. It's just kind of fun and looks dated in a really cool way. And then we have this mug that I recently thrifted. It's got swans and bears, and then, I don't know what those are, pheasants maybe, and foxes. So that's a really cool mug. And then speaking of foxes, this is one of my favorite mugs. It is a fox, just in this white, I don't know, mold, I guess, because it's definitely molded into the shape of a fox with the gold detail, I love it. On the side, blank, but so cool. And I think that is it for my animal, travel-y, nature type themes. Now we'll go to a uh, more generic, I guess this one is animal-y themed too. Oops, my bad. Um, so this one's got a chicken and a rooster, uh, and it's one of these really wide mouth, yellow, kind of distressed looking mug. It's really cool. I don't tend to use this one like ever because because of how wide it is, my coffee or my tea cools off super fast. So I don't tend to use it for functional reasons, but it is cute. Then we've got this mug, which I really love. It's It's got this design on it. I don't know, it's just very, very cool. It also is a wide mouth as well, but I love this one. And actually, I almost forgot, but I do have a set of four of these and they do kind of look very reminiscent of each other. This one looks more vintage, this one's more modern, um, but the same idea. I've got a set of four of these and I don't use these ones, they're just for looks because I love the way this looks. Then we've got this big guy, he's quite heavy. Um, he actually holds quite a bit of liquid. He's a bigger mug, I like this one. It's very simple in the design. A lot of my mugs come from Life at Home, which is a company that is sold from the Great Canadian Superstore, which is a Loblaws grocery store, and they have like the best mugs. Like this one is Life at Home. Like I've got a ton of Life at Home mugs. Maybe if you guys wanna see my Life at Home mug collection, let me know. But um, love, love, love this mug. Then we got this one, which is another big guy. Uh, it definitely holds a lot. It's just this white with the grooves of like a, almost like a herringbone uh, pattern print, but it's very, very cool. I love this one. Big handle, big mug, great. I got this one, which is, is more of the true herringbone, um, but this one is white with like a gold bronzy detail on it and also a wide mouth, but it's just so stinking cute. Then we've got this one, which is a Tea Tastes Better Outdoors mug. I got this one at a local hardware store because it was like very cheap and it, it's just fun. So I think, or was this one gifted? Is this from the dollar store? I can't even remember now where I got this one. Now I'm second guessing myself, but it is tin. It's got a little image of a teapot on the inside and yeah. Then we've got this guy, which is very simple, but I love it. It's got different textures, different colors, and it is like one of those, like it's made to look like handmade clay pots or, or mugs, you know? But this one, I don't think was handmade. But anyway, I like this one. Then we've got this one, which also has kind of like this um, groove design on it. And this cream and brownish color, I really like it. Then I've got this plain guy, white with the teal, very, very simple. Again, really like it. It's got these stripes on the inside, which is kind of neat. But yeah, I like this one. And then these two look quite similar. Um, they are my homebody mug, which is super fitting for me, and my cup of cheer mug. So they are, this one's very much used. This one's actually brand new. I haven't used it yet. Um, but I really love both of these. I love this look and I'm, um, yeah. So this is going to actually lead into my next kind of subcategory, which is like, um, sets of mugs or not sets but like pairs of mugs or mugs that go together or like his and hers mugs I really like that as well so we could say that this is a little bit like a, a pair 
but that's going to be that collection. So to continue our pairs of mugs, um, we've got Tea and Happy and they aren't technic- oh they are both Ray Dunn. Okay, I didn't think that they were both actual authentic Ray Dunn mugs, but they are. So they both have the colored inside and plain on the back, but they are kind of a pair just in the way that they look because they're both Ray Dunn mugs. Um, not necessarily in the words. <laughs> the next pair we have is these two, which is like a mountainous scene in a dark color and a foresty scene with these evergreens in a light color. So this is what they look like. And they are both the Life at Home collection as well. Then we've got these two, which is um, my mug set from Indigo, which is a bookstore here in Canada. Um, they both have a color on the inside. So the country I live in, the province I live in, I don't love living in this province. So I don't ever drink out of this mug because I just, upon principle, <laughs> but I thought it was proper to have it just because this is where I live. Um, but I do drink out of the Canada mug. The next pair is these two, which uh, they're both from the old pottery company. And I just feel like they kind of are like a his and hers because this one's dark color with light detail. This is white with dark color detail. So I think that they just go well together and I love them both. And then of course we have to have the hubby and wifey mugs. These ones I believe are from Walmart. They're not true Ray Dunn mugs, even though they kind of look like it. I think these are from Walmart, but anyway, definitely have to have the wifey and hubby mug and we don't drink out of these unless the other person is also drinking out of the other one. Then I've got these two, which aren't meant to be a pair. I mean, some of these aren't meant to be a pair, but um, just because they both have a gnome on there, this one's got a boy gnome in the winter time, and then this one's a girl gnome in Easter time. So they are not technically a pair, but I like to think that they go together. And that's gonna move us on to my seasonal mugs. So I do have a whole Christmas uh, winter collection of mugs. So this one I count as a winter mug or Christmas mug. I mean, he is wearing red, so. Um, but these two, I absolutely love these two. They are the Holly and Joy brand and they are just a Nutcracker co uh, collection. So yeah, pink one and this is like a gray blue. But anyway, I really, really like these two and they're so cute together. So then I have this huge mug, it's quite large, um, and it has this uh, kind of old timey truck with a Christmas tree on the back and red on the inside. So that one is definitely considered a Christmas mug. I've got this mug, which I really love. I actually got this from a clothing store in our small town, um, but this one's got like holly on it and then it says Mary, and then a red striped handle with red on the inside. So I basically needed it because it has holly on it. So I love when, when Christmas time comes around and there's so much holly everywhere, I just, I get peached. I love this mug because it is also quite large and it says, baby, it's cold outside, which is a cute song. I mean, I know there's been controversy about it in the recent years, but I think it's a cute song. Um, on the back it's plain and it is meant to look like tin but it is not. Then I have a couple more wintry style ones. So this one is a wolf howling at the moon in winter time in a forest and it is a Tim Hortons mug. So Tim Hortons is a Canadian coffee donut sandwich shop. And lastly for my wintry collection or Christmassy wintry collection is this pine cone mug. This one's really tall. This is the only tall mug I have, I believe. So it just has a pine cone on both sides. It is also from Indigo and it's got the red inside. So I like that. And last but not least for my mug collection is two that don't really fit anywhere. I got this one that is kind of shaped like a pumpkin. So I feel like it's a bit of an autumnal mug. So we're gonna call that one seasonal. And then this one, which has a three leaf clover and a gold handle. Um, this one's from Coco and Lola. This one could be a St. Patty's mug, 
but for me it is special for other reasons that are a bit more private but uh yes i really love this mug as well and it has two clovers on both sides now i need to arrange my mug shelf they won't all fit on the mug shelves so i will have to put some in the closet in the closet in the cupboard but let's arrange them and then we'll come back oh i forgot i have this blue one that says dream on with palm trees it looks super like 90s to me so i love it for that and then i don't have it here with me right now because my husband takes it to work because i gifted it to him and he's at work right now so um, i'll just post a picture here this one i gave him for his birthday i think and we both love the office so if you know the office you'll understand the reference but he has that one and it's also very cool oops i forgot i have another set which is these two i really love them they're very very cool and tall and yeah cute so this is the arrangement that is going to be my new mug collection and i'm really happy about it i think other than like the a few outliers like these pink ones and this brown one well, even the brown one, but the pink ones are definitely a little bit of a one of these things just doesn't belong kind of thing. But I love them so much. So uh, I love this collection. I have spent so many years curating it and I, I'm really happy about it. So here's my mug collection for those of you who are interested in seeing it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad you're here and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.